guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today guys you clicked the thumbnail and saw the title you guys are probably wondering how this thing happened well guys i'm gonna explain to you how this happened kids make sure you don't try anything i do at home so today is december 31st right here 2021 in a few hours it's about to be midnight and i have nothing to do right now so i decided to make this video right now so this accident happened on december 26th literally the day after christmas so it's been five days since this happened as you guys can see i have a band-aid right now i took off all the things i clean it every day and put band-aids on so dirt doesn't get to it but if you guys follow my social media which are going to be on the screen right there i posted so much stuff on when this happened so you guys have to follow all my social medias if you guys want to know what's happening in my life but luckily i am making this video for you guys and yeah so many people were like dming me and snapchat and instagram telling me what's happening what's happening elizabeth so i just decided to make a video and explain everything what's happening as you guys know i'm in mexico right now for vacation for a month and of course it has to happen when i'm on vacation but guys in mexico people buy so many fireworks just for the heck of it not because there's any like celebrations or anything but just because we like to have fun i guess so i bought through fireworks and i came back home and i opened a box of fireworks okay and inside a box there were like these two rockets stuck together and i tried to separate them but the thing is they weren't separating so my smart ass head thought to get a knife not even a small knife a freaking huge knife and try to cut it in half to try and separate them so guys guess what i did i got the freaking knife guys and i cut that thing off i was trying to slice up the fireworks but i was smart are you sure about that i was like i don't want to get cut so i'm gonna put the fireworks on the concrete floor and try to slice it like that if you guys know what i mean but that wasn't working out so guess what i did i got the fireworks like this let me show you like this and the knife right here and i just <laughs> it's so dumb when i explain it but in my mind it was really smart stop it get some help so I go like this and psh, the fireworks cut in half. It worked. The fireworks did separate, but when the fireworks separated, the knife went through the fireworks and literally sliced my finger all the way here. And listen, did it hurt? No, it didn't hurt, but it did burn like a freaking No, it didn't hurt, but it did burn a lot. Not like from one to ten, I'll be like a five. It burned to a five. It wasn't that bad. So I look at my finger, I just stare at it for like five seconds. I'm like, oh. That looks cool, you know? I know, it sounds so stupid, but it's whatever. And it was literally half of my skin was dangling off while blood was gushing everywhere. Like it was Friday the 13th and someone died or something. So I get a parent, I get, um, what's it called, napkin, and I apply pressure on it, okay? My parents didn't believe me. My family members didn't believe me because it wasn't my house, I wasn't my family member's house. But no one was believing me until I was like, yo, I'm freaking dying, look at this. And they're like, oh my god, you got like freaking out and stuff. So, like I said, if you guys paid attention to the beginning of the video, I said this happened in December 26th. So guess what? All the doctors in that small town that we're visiting, they're all closed, okay? Every single freaking doctor is closed. We spent 30 minutes trying to find a doctor, and finally, guys, we went to the next town, which was like 10 minutes away, and they had a doctor that was open, and thankfully, thankfully, he only opened because he is my uncle's uncle or something like that. I don't know, Mexican families are weird and stuff. But yeah, he opened up for us, he checked it out, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, you just need a band-aid. I'm like, really? He's like, no, you need stitches. I was like, what? Like that doctor was really funny. He loved to joke a lot, which I was like, you know, it's, it's fun, it's fun, you know? So for the people who don't like to see blood and stuff, I wouldn't watch this video. I don't know if I'm gonna censor it. I'm gonna probably censor like the really, really bad stuff. But I'm not sure, but like I said before, if you guys follow my social medias and maybe DM me or something, I'll send you like real screenshots if you like, if you guys like seeing that stuff. So yeah, they gave me uh, what's called anesthesia. They did all that stuff. They poked some needles in there. I think it was like the anesthesia or whatever. Um, the whole procedure took like 20 minutes max, 15 to 20 minutes around that. 
didn't hurt at all. I think the only thing that hurt it was the beginning part where he sprayed like this alcohol, whatever, to my finger. That shit did burn a lot. But after that, I got an anesthesia and everything. Nothing was hurting. The whole stitching process didn't hurt at all. And yes, we got photos, we got videos, we got so much of what happened. Like I said before, when I cut my finger, I didn't have my camera with me, which sucks. I'm a YouTuber and I should have a camera. I even left my phone and everything. I didn't have anything to record on, but thankfully my parents and my family members did record some stuff to do this video. So I'm so happy for that. Prices in Mexico are freaking cool. It only costed me $30. Like $30 US. $30. Dollars to get anesthesia stitches and they gave me prescription medicines to take for seven days So I don't get an infection or whatever and in seven days I have to go back and take the stitches off which I don't want to but yeah as of right now It doesn't hurt that much. I can't do a lot of stuff with this hand which I'm okay with because my left hand and I'm a righty But it sucks to change to move stuff around to even grab my phone. It's like this right now. My fingers like this I can't stretch it out that much because like, my whole stitch is stretched out and it hurts like crap But I'm gonna take off the bandit right now and show you guys real quick because I, I have to take it off either way So I can clean it right now. Yeah guys the lesson for this video is don't play with knives guys before, before i take it off if you guys don't like seeing stitches and stuff there's no blood right now but it's just like black stitches if you guys don't want to see that just skip the videos don't watch i really don't care about the views i'm just doing this video to update you guys what's happening in my life and guys don't say this is fake because you cannot fake stitches okay look at that frick it looks really bad as you guys can see, my finger is white right here where the band-aid is and then like my skin color is here. It's because I put band-aids on. But yeah, every day I try to clean at least twice a day to make sure I don't get affected. It's not affected as of right now. Ooh, let me show you guys how I clean it. So I grabbed this liquid thing they gave me with my medicine and I just put some drops here on my stitches. It doesn't burn, but at first, the first time I did it, it burned really bad. But now it doesn't burn, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all, to be honest. Then after that, I let it breathe for like 30 minutes. And then I put another band-aid on it. Because like I said, with Mexico, there's a lot of dirt outside. I'm hoping it leaves like a scar on it. Because it would be kind of cool, to be honest. Yeah, the story of how it happened was really stupid. But whatever. So guys, I'm going to end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel down below. And click the notification bell right next to it. Also guys, make sure you drop a big fat like on the video. If you guys enjoyed this video because I literally almost died. Blood was coming out so much. Like I said before, make sure you share this video with your friends. And guys, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Oh, I should probably not do this hand. Let me, let's try this hand because it's a scar. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.